Which kind soup mama cook? A bona soup, a soup, a bona. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. I appreciate you all for always coming back to watch my video. For my new subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please, please, please do subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to all so that you'll be among the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. In this channel, I do cooking, I do vlogs, sometimes I do DIY. So guys, stay tuned because Great, great content are coming on on this channel. It's just that these days I don't have too much time. School, children, work, and a lot of things that I have to do in my free time. But yeah, I keep uploading video, even if I don't upload like once a week or twice a week as I normally do. But I will still keep uploading video on this channel. No leave, no transfer. Keep watching, stay tuned, and please give this video a thumbs up, share out the video, and also leave your comments below. Today, we are going to be making this delicious mouth-watering, sovereign or walnut soup. So guys, stay tuned. Let's get right into the video in 3, 2, 1. Here are some of the proteins I'm going to be using to prepare this. I have some cow tail, some iota some shaki i also have some stock fish in here all of them are well washed i also have some dry fish and some beef so guys let's start the cooking i will add all the meat apart from the beef and the dry cut fish inside the pot add seasoning cube onion of course i'll be adding in some salt then water to the level of the meat, cover and cook till it is tender. Then we proceed to blending the obono and cameroon pepper. I will also be blending some oziza seed, kubeb seed later. But first, let's finish blending the obono. We blend it into a smooth powder just like so. Blend for a while, then give it a break. Don't blend throughout then scoop out the ones that stick by the side and blend again till it is smooth that's all we'll be doing i will take it out and finish up with the remaining one blend the kubeb seed blend some ogiri and some fish powder the fish powder has been blended but here yeah, i'm just using it to blend out the ogiri otherwise the ogiri will stick inside the blender after 15 minutes, I'll be taking out the stock fish to debone it. But if you love the bone of the stock fish, you don't need to take it out because it's chewable. It's so soft. But I take it out because of my kids so that bone will not harm them. And my hobby doesn't like it as well. So I'll add in my iota, top up the water, cover and cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Then we proceed in cooking the soup. First of all, I will add the palm oil inside the pot. Allow this to heat up a bit. I don't want to blanch this, but I will just be heating it up. Add the onion, then stir fry for at least a minute or till it is pale. Once the onion is well fried, add your blended obono, ogiri, and other things inside. Start frying on a low heat. Please don't leave this unattended, otherwise it will burn and it will spoil the taste. Fry for at least 5 minutes on a low heat, so you make sure that the obono is well cooked. Then give this video a thumbs up and proceed in adding your meat and the meat broth. I just pour everything in here. You can use any meat or fish of your choice. Then top up the water at least a little bit. I'll be adding it bit by bit to check the consistency of the obono. Once I get the consistency I want, I will stop adding water. I will be adding it a little bit. Once I add, I will stir. I add, I will stir. Then I just added the stock fish. I decided to add a little shrimp inside it as well. You know, this festive season, we must add all the medemedes. We are not joking, guys. We must enjoy. 
so i still add a little bit of water because it's still thick for me till i get it a little bit lighter not too light not too thick but it depends on the consistency you like your obono then after getting the consistency i want i will cover it and cook this for 10 minutes then after 10 minutes i will come give it a stir to make sure it's not burning because obono doesn't take too much time to burn especially when you cook it on a high heat so i love cooking it on a low heat now adding some crayfish to this add some salt to test add your vegetables today i'm making use of spinach you can make use of ugo that's pumpkin leaf you can make use of kale leaf or any other vegetable you prefer so i give this a stir and i also be checking for salt if the salt is okay fine if the salt is not okay to my test board of course i'll be adding in some salt but i tested and everything is perfect so i just take it out from the cooker and dish it out thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye